The Ad Show. Hi guys, so I'm gonna do a little mail opening today. I've got a few bits and bobs from the mail room, so I thought, you know what, why not just open them on camera and see if we get anything interesting. I don't know whether there will be anything interesting, but if there's not anything interesting, I'll try and edit this down into a fairly short video so that then it's not crazy boring because it probably would be quite crazy boring if it was a really long video. So, um, with that being said, let's get the first one up. Uh, I know what this one is, I think. Um, so, oh yeah, brilliant. This is something that I actually need for this video, although I'm already doing this video, so bugger it, we'll, we'll just leave it. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a stand. My other two stands I had to put in a bin because I, I brought them up here, right? And I thought, oh great, that'll be good for videos. And they're half broken, so I don't even know why I brought them up. Um, but yeah, so that's a new one of them. So that I can use that for future videos and boards and stuff, which is brilliant. Amazon package. Now, honestly, talking to you about the mail room here. Now we have, well, usually on a normal year, obviously it's COVID this year, so a few people haven't come to the university. But normally, on a normal year, we'd have about 2,000 students on this on this site, on this student accommodation, student village. Um, now that mail room, now imagine this, you've got 2,000 people, right? Now students and young people, they're always buying things online. So, let, but let's just say 1,000 people buy something online per week, right? Half of the, the people. Now it's probably the average in terms of e each person, even if let's say half of them um, you know, don't buy anything. I reckon the average is still going to be more than, let's say, one a week. But let's just say it's one a week and a thousand people buy it, right? That's a thousand things coming through the mail room every week. I mean, it's mental. I mean, I've bought about six things this week. So obviously the average is going to be more than one. But you think, ugh, anyway. So next one. Uh, this is from Amazon. And this is one I really want to read. Uh, was Carl Gustav Jung a mystic? Um, but it'll be interesting to read this and to kind of get a new perspective on it. Um, but yeah, so um, I probably pronounced the name wrong. I said Anelia Jaffrey, but I don't think it's quite the right pronunciation. But of course, she was Jung's kind of secretary, secretary but I, that's not quite the right word, but like personal assistant type, type thing. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, We've got another one here. I think these are my headphones. Please be my headphones. I need these to be my headphones. Um... Oh, thank God, they're my headphones. Thank God. My headphones, like, I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. My headphones are doing this really, really weird thing when I plug them in, where you just get sort of staticky sound through one ear, but then the other ear's not so bad. Um, so, yeah, I got them. They were pretty good. You need... With the like the iPhone, I think it's more than, if you've got like the iPhone 10 or later or something like that, you need this weird lightning cable for the headphones, and that's only so that then you have to buy the Apple headphones. It's right bloody can't. Anyway, so yeah, I've got my headphones there. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I've got this big box, and then I've got a letter from my grandma, so that'll be quite funny. She'll probably talk to me like I'm four years old or something. Anyway, where's my, where the hell are my scissors? It's just, that's like living in a university room. Where, where do you, oh, there they are. Right, cool, it's randomly on the floor. Right, okay, let's uh, open this thing. Now, I don't know what books I ordered, I forget. You know, I, I, I just order some books every now and then and then I forget. Now, I was doing okay for finances this month because to be honest, the first two months at university, I uh, planned to be spending more than I was. So I did treat myself uh, to a few books. And also, the good thing is, I have got a little bit of uh, money in crypto to take out as well. So I'm gonna take that out and I might treat myself to something else as well, if I'm lucky. But I am, I'm being fairly frugal at university. It's not too bad, so I can afford to treat myself every now and then, which is actually quite good considering. Right. So, we've got some nice books in here. We've got uh, G.K. Chesterton, What's Wrong With The World, uh, theologian, kind of philosopher, I suppose, in a way. Um, he's like a, uh, what do you call it? Well, I mean, a writer, but what do you call it? Like a li literature or 
kind of children's literature in a way with like the book of the coloured lands or whatever it's called anyway that one um we've got relativity special and uh, general relativity albert einstein just kind of wanted to get it because well i wanted to read it obviously um and I think there'll be very, very good information in here. But it's kind of one of those icon iconic books that you ha kind of have to read. And that's why I want to read it. Um, although, God, no, oh God, there's loads of computations and stuff in here. And equations. And, oh, you know, I don't know whether I'll be able to do the equations because I'm not good at maths. But I can at least get some level of understanding. Oh. Right, okay, um, so um, we've got William James, which is like the father of uh, American psychology and also like a philosopher as well, uh, pragmatism. Um, so yeah, got that one to read. Um, I mean, I read wide. I buy and read wide. Uh, we've got, I mean, this one you just show, I read wide. The Secret Doctrine of the Rosicution, Rosicrucians. Um, so yeah, that'll be a very interesting read because the Rosicrucians, I believe, kind of incorporated hermeticism, alchemy, um, all these kind of different, uh, almost heretic forms of thinking that were going on for previous centuries, you know, centuries and centuries earlier. But then the Rosicrucians kind of compiled that all into a, a new doctrine in, I believe, the 17th century, but don't quote me on that. Um, and and then put it into their kind of style so i wanted to read a little bit more on that and i mean the thing is i always say if you get a good book and it's a good let's say 150 page book on a certain topic you can actually get enough information from that topic just in that one book so long as it is a good book now i don't know whether this is a really good book or not i just literally picked it off off amazon but if it is a good book, it will give me enough in that subject area that, you know, is a good basic knowledge. So it's always good if you get books and you get the right ones. You only need to read, if, you, if you're only looking for a basic knowledge in a subject, you've got enough in that one book. Um, we've got The World As I See It, Albert Einstein. I think this is going to be a bit more of a philosophical one. Uh, yeah, this one's probably going to be more of a, more of what I'm wanting in terms of a weed philosophically um yeah it looks like it's more of a philosophical one so that would be quite interesting actually yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna read that soon actually um and then we'll oh no i've already i've already done that one hang on i got two of the same oh no i haven't hang on they've sent me two of the same book i didn't order two of the same book what's going on there after i definitely didn't order two of the same book so i'm gonna have to look on uh Set basically, they've sent me two copies of What's Wrong With The World by G.K. Chesterton. And I am certain I didn't buy two of them, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, finally, we've got the illustrated story of art. Because I, I don't really know much about art, and I want to like look at all the different... I mean, it's brilliant, this book. Jesus, this book is brilliant. Look at the photos in there. They're brilliant. Um, but I wanted to, like, basically learn about all the different styles of art um, and just get a bit more clued up on it. Because I like the aesthetic and all that. I mean, some of, God, some of these paintings, Jesus. Um, but I like the aesthetic, but I just don't know anything about art, you know, and I really want to know more about art. Well, that's an odd one, Jesus. High Renaissance, 1500 to 1530. Anyway, yeah, I'm just reading these for some reason. So, um, put these back in here, and then we'll get on with my granddad's letter. Oh, I don't know, it's not a letter, it's a card. I thought it was a letter. Well, I mean, a, a card is kind of a letter, isn't it? Do, do, do. Here we go, let's have a look at it. Thank you. Yeah, he's from Gummer. Thank you. Bloody hell. Which way? Oh, right. dear Adam, what a lovely surprise on Sunday when we went for a lovely meal to Highley Garden Centre and Mum and Dad got out my lovely card from you 
and also my great scarf, which I've I've already worn. Cool, cool, cool. It was a lovely thing to do from you. Uh, we'll ring you. Oh yeah, I think you already did ring me. Hope uh, this finds you okay and looking after yourself well. Hope you got your extra ten pound off Grandad, which was very nice of him. Um, to get a takeaway or something nice to eat anyway. Mum was passing it on to you. Yeah, yeah she did. Uh, all our love to you, Adam. Stay safe from Grandma and Grandad. Ah, oh, that's nice. Right, so um, that is everything, I think. I don't think there's anything else. So that'll be good. I need to organise them books. I need to go into Amazon and check out that bloody thing, what's happened with that book. I don't know why that's happened, but I didn't order two copies of them. So, um... It'll be a send back job or something, sort something out, be able to get a refund or something on that. Um, but we'll just see, we'll see what's what's what with it. Um, but anyway, I'll leave it there guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. So uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon or whatever it's even called these days, I don't know. I've not been on YouTube for months, so I don't know what it's called. It's probably called the bell icon still. We're probably all right. Hit that bell, whack a comment down below if you'd like to comment down below and I will see you very soon. So see you very soon guys.